TVNZ's Tom McRae reporting there. Talks between Fatah and Hamas on forming a new Palestinian unity government have failed to reach agreement. The attempt to end the bitter rift between the two factions comes as the Hamas-controlled Gaza Strip enters its fifth year of an Israeli blockade. A key sticking point between Fatah and Hamas negotiators is who will be Premier. Fatah wants Salam Fayed to stay on as Prime Minister, but Hamas says he's too close to the West. The talks will resume next week with the involvement of Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas and Hamas leader Khaled Massal. Hamas wrested control of the Gaza Strip from Fatah forces in 2007. For five years, Israel has maintained a blockade of the territory. It says it's necessary to stop weapons smuggling and put pressure on Hamas. But the United Nations wants it lifted. A UN report has found that unemployment is around 45 per cent. The private sector is being very badly hit, whereas the public se sector as an employer is growing. And when I say public sector, that public sector is dominated by Hamas. So if the policy of the blockade was to weaken or damage Hamas, it's not working. Another attempt to break the Israeli blockade is being planned. Three Australians are among 1,000 activists preparing to join an international flotilla. Former Greens MP Sylvia Hale has called on the Australian government to warn Israel against a repeat of last year's violence, during which nine activists were killed. What uh, the violence does is really encourage people uh, into further acts of resistance. Uh, the flotilla last time was comprised of uh, six ships. Uh, this time there are, uh, I understand, 12. The three say the boat will be carrying medical supplies and messages of goodwill. Israel maintains that attempts to breach the naval blockade are political rather than genuinely humanitarian. Cassandra Hill, World News Australia. Now a quick look at some of the other stories making news around the world in Iran.